Hello, you're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. Thank you for joining me for another YouTube video with the Swirly Bird stamp set available from Stampin' Up. If you go to my blog, stampinstarcreations.co.uk, in the shop tab, you can purchase one of these from the 1st of June. So, I've been having a play and came up with the idea of doing some flowers. I'll just show you what stamps I've used in this one. So, we're using our grassy twig <laughs> stamp, not sure what to call that one, and the string that sometimes goes with the kite, the bird feet here, and the smaller petal shape here. Okay, I'm just going to start by stamping on the grass and the green area at the bottom of the picture. I'm going to use the big grass one first so we can get the right area to be able to put, put the other stamps in. Okay, and I'm using Old Olive from the Brights Ink Pad collection. So I'm leaving a gap to make sure that we can fit our other flowers in as well on the picture. Okay, going in next with the smaller twig stamp. You don't have to be too precise as to where they go, just as long as they're spaced out a bit. Might just add a few more. Or maybe one tucked at the end there. Okay, let's bring in our, our long one for the longer flowers. Again, using the same colour. And just create some long stem shapes so if you just move it down you can make smaller stems we'll go further up for the longer flowers i'm going to do some in between for the dandelion shapes For the flowers at the base, these small ones at the bottom there, I've used the tiny bow stamp, which I forgot to mention at the beginning. And I'm going to choose a different colour. I'm going to go in with Melon Mambo for this one, which is a nice bright pink. I'm just going to set that to the side. Okay, and I'm just going to put these on the smallest stem. So stamping once, going in with a bit more ink. Turn your stamp around, stamp again, and that creates that almost like a windmill flower. We could call it, couldn't we? And if you just do that in different directions, it gives it a realistic look. I'll just finish this off and come back to you with the next flower. For the next flower, we are using the tiny, sorry, got the, somebody police going by, <laughs> the tiny flag stamp here to create that five petal shape. So let's get another colour. I think we'll use a bit of my favourite, Bermuda Bay. And we're simply going to go once twice, three times, just leaving a gap in the middle, four times, and five times. Each time just keep turning your your stamp to create that flower. Okay, I'll show you that again. So using the smaller point first of the stamp, so the, the wavy flag bit goes on the outer part of the flower and we're going round five times leaving a centre in the middle okay and I'm going to just finish this row 
Okay, you may have noticed on some of the petals I have added an extra fifth petal and this one I've done four just to show that you can actually vary it. It doesn't have to be five petals on that particular flower. Okay, we're going to go in next with the bird's feet and this creates the dandelion. Okay, we're going to use smoky slate, nice pale grey. Just make sure I don't get my fingers in the other ink. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to go straight in and then keep stamping. Move each time moving the, the stamp around slightly. Or if you want, you can move your paper around. And that creates our dandelion clocks, shall I say, dandelion clocks. Just keep stamping around. Each time having the feet facing the outside. So that you can see the, the seeds on the outside rather than the inside. Okay, I'm just going to finish this bit off. Right, I finished that bit off. Now we're going to go in and do the taller flowers at the top. Okay, I'm going to use the Melon Mambo for this one. Um, let's just bring it in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now let's figure this one out. So, for these petals, I've used the uh, thicker end inside and the pointy end on the outside. So we're going to ink it up, going in once, and just ever so slightly overlap the last petal that you've just created. Keep turning it as you go around. Oh, I might leave it like that, actually, I quite like that. Let's do another one at the end. So it's amazing what you can build up and create just using this one stamp set. So, so far we've done a bird with a dicky bow. And I've done one with fish and now flowers. Okay, the other flower I wanted to show you was this one here, like almost like a tulip shape. So we're going to go in once and moving over to the side a lot more, twice, and then we're going to go in and stamp again, which gives you the centre and a lighter colour. Like that. Now because I've got a few smudge marks on my paper, I'm going to pretend they're supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the speckled stamp and with the Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to stamp off because I don't want all the colour to be on there. And just fill in some of those gaps around the flower. If in doubt, cover it up. <laughs> there we are. Right, let's get a bit of Melon Mambo cardstock. And I think it'll go nicely on there. There we are. Flowers made out of the Swirly Bird stamp set. I've got another idea for you, so do come back, do subscribe to my video if you'd like to catch up with what I'm doing. Thank you ever so much for watching, take care, have a good day, bye!